Hello, friends and family at Grace Lutheran PSL. It's great to, to be here with you. I have an announcement. Now, normally when I have announcements, it's all sad stuff, but this time it's a little different. Like it's, we're actually opening up. We're opening up again. And that is exciting and terrifying all at the same time, right? Like that, that's, there's all kinds of things that we have to watch out for and do as we begin opening up. So what does that look like? So this Sunday, the 7th and the 14th are going to look pretty similar in how we do things. By opening up, we're basically inviting you in to watch us film the service. It's not so much like that. It's going to be a full worship service and all of that. But the camera is going to take priority because we know that there are people that are at home that are high risk. They don't need to come in like that's that we, we know that those people are out there. And so we wanna make sure the camera stays a high priority. So we know how to film, we know how to do all this. And the only thing we want to add is just people in there. So we're, we're doing that at nine o'clock on sun, Sunday, all right? So remember, be here just a little smidgen early. And there's some rules that you're gonna have to do if you decide that you want to come in. First off, mask, gotta have your mask. Gotta have your mask on, right? The, and you gotta have it on. That's, that's the, way, the way it goes. Also, all the rules for the building still, still apply. You know, keep your distance, wash your hands. Uh, that, that's all, all that stuff. There's hand washing stations in the kitchen and in the bathrooms. And there's also like the little pumper with hand sanitizer. If you are sick, don't come, don't come. We're not checking your temperature uh, because we don't have one of those, but uh, that's, that that's if you're if you're feeling sick if you got a fever at all don't come don't worry about it just watch the live stream it's gonna it's gonna be a good experience on the live stream so the next rule I'm calling no singing now that's kind of negative that's not really what I intend by it either no singing actually means you got you got to use your inside voice like your mother told you that's that's what that actually means uh, so we we can't project you can't talk like I'm talking right now right like that's it's just kind of talk to yourself and kind of, and just kind of do, you know, softly. And if there's any like the confession with the responsive readings, you'll, you'll do that. You know, just remember, use your inside voice when it comes to all of that. I know that's going to be a weird dynamic, but it'll, it'll be all right. We'll learn how to do it because we're loving our neighbor as we do that. The next, the next thing is, is when you come in, you'll sit with your family group. Now we're, we are, we have set a number of around 40 as our top limit. That can change depending on family groups. But as you can see in our seating here, we have the seats broken up into different like pods. And those pods are all there for different family groups. And you'll do everything as a family group. You'll come up for communion as a family group and you'll sit with your family group because those are the people in your homes right now, right? Those, those are your family groups. So with communion, it's going to be after the service, right after the service, we'll invite one family group at a time to each side of the altar, to each side of the altar. I can't figure out my hands, you know, and so we'll, we'll figure that out and, and you'll come up as a family group. And then after you're done with communion, you'll actually just leave. You'll just go like, like you just leave. If you want to talk to someone, you can talk to them outside. Hopefully it's not raining like it is right now. If you are watching the live stream on Sunday and you don't feel comfortable coming in because of the crowds, that's great. Continue to watch this live stream. But if you would like to have communion, we're going to have the no more than five family groups at a time, smaller communion like we were doing a couple weeks ago. We're going to have those at 1030 and 11 on Sunday. OK, so we're going to have the, those little communion services at 1030 and 11. So if you would like communion, you can come into those and and that'll be a smaller crowd uh, so that you can feel safer. Also, Zoom to coffee. We're still going to be doing Zoom to coffee. I, I will be doing communion services, but if you would like to be part of Zoom to coffee, Coley is going to be operating it from our quiet room over over in the church or maybe the office, you know, somewhere. She will be operating that so that if you want to be a part of that, you can join Zoom to coffee because again, we want people at home to know that they're still loved and, and that it's fine that they're home. We want you to be home if you need to be home. So there's two important things to remember about today. We're starting up at nine o'clock, 
all right? Nine o'clock with all those restrictions. And I think they all make sense. And we're doing communion after the service over there, and especially the five family groups at a time communion at 10, 30, and 11. And the second one, I think, is the most important thing to remember as we go in here. And it's, it's simple. It's this idea right here. Not everyone feels the same about the virus that you do. Some people are extremely worried about getting the virus and them coming within any range of the church is a big deal for them. Some of you think this is all just garbage and you you think it's all overreacting and all of that stuff. The hallmark of Christian community and the heart that I've seen of the people at Grace is that we love one another. So no matter how you feel about this virus, you need to remember to, to we always protect and love one another. So don't get in anybody's face. Don't try to shake hands. Don't try to do any of that stuff. Just keep your distance because that is how we love everyone. And you don't know how someone is feeling about it, right? So that's it. We're, we're getting ready to open up. It's, a, it's an exciting and terrifying time. And we will see you either through the camera or in person on Sunday. But we are working hard to keep it as sanitary and clean as possible. But uh, we'll, we'll see you then. All right. Bye.